my scrappy friends welcome to my channel this is Hannah with you and I am going to be working on this art journal spread for shimmers unfortunately I lost some of my footage that was the beginning part of this spread um, where I did the background part so all of the red and orange and like bronzy colors that you see are all with shimmers vibes and sprays and some of their shimmers and um, some inklings. I will make sure that I link below to um, the store and to the different products that I use so that you can find them easily. But I really did not like the way that it was turning out. Um, it was supposed to be like an autumn inspired spread, but it had lots of red. Um, the scarlet fever and uh, some of the golden wheat in the shimmers um, containers, which I really am loving. But it was just too bold for me. So I put some white on it. So this is some of the white um, three sheets to the wind acritones. And just an FYI, um, if you like the acritones, you might want to run to the store now and get some because they are going to be discontinued. Uh, the ladies are over at Shimmers, so Stacy, and is working on getting, uh, coming up with a new, a better formula so that um, they can have some acrylic paints that maybe are a little bit better price ranged and whatnot. So, so be on the lookout for those, but for now, whatever is in the store is there, and so when they run out, they will not be remaking anymore. So um, I added some of the uh, In the Storm Inklings, and Inklings are watercolors that have lots of shimmer to them, and they're pretty metallic looking. Um, because they have so much shimmer in them. They're really, really pretty, and oh my gosh, they're so concentrated. Um, a little bit of water sprayed on, on it will do the trick for starting it. And I just added some of that because I wanted some gray, silvery colors. And I did use a Sharpie, or like a, like a paint, a silver paint pen that actually kind of exploded, and so it's kind of hard to see because it looks more white on here, but there are some splatters there. Now, I'm adding some of this gold paint because um, Shimmers only has dazzlers in gold. They don't have a like acrylic paint, and I wanted an acrylic paint. So I, I will go back later and add some of the inklings, as good as gold, and some of the blings, the gold glimmer which I absolutely love. It's really pretty. But, um, so here's, here's some of the good as gold. And that is just, um, an inklings. And so, like I said, it's like a watercolor. And I really liked the way that this turned out too. But, uh, so the, but the acrylic paint, the gold acrylic paint is going to leave a little bit more texture as where this is just going to kind of sit on there and um, this one really leaves like a crust when you put it in dots. So it adds this really fun dimensional gold pop. And it's a really light gold. And when you mix in a lot of water, it almost becomes translucent and just so much shimmer. It's amazing. So now you see I had doodled that tree earlier. And so I'm going to go back through and kind of redoodle on it again, but I'm also going to be making a ton of squares because I want to do presents. I was thinking about this tree and what could I add to this page to make it really fun? And I thought, hey, wouldn't this be really fun if it was like presents, you know, like a whole bunch of presents underneath this tree. And so I'm using this pencil and this is a charcoal pencil and um, this one might be a more of a hard tip, but um, it's really, really fun to get a doodled look on your pages with when you're doing art journaling, and it goes over lots of different kinds of media. The one thing I will say is because it's a pencil, um, it, it will rub off 
and whatnot. So you do want to be careful. And so I go back through with this fine line bottle that I mixed with some in the navy and some tartar acritones and a airbrush medium. So I've made it half and half. So it's really liquidy. And this helps do some doodles too. And as you see, and I just put a whole bunch of some dots, but I also went over each of the present areas. And now I'm going to put some Mod Podge. And I decided to use this because um, I feel like it's going to move the the media less. I don't know. I, I was hoping that it wouldn't be too glossy over top or matte over top of these um, pieces of tissue paper and I cut these to try to fit into each of these presents. So I'm going to add these, this plaid and then I have this um, like gold and silver striped tissue paper and I'm just going to put it for each of the presents. I thought that this would add a fun, a fun texture element and a see-through element as well. And really, I'm just having fun with this because, I mean, it's been so crazy with the holidays and everything that sometimes just getting in in my room and going to my desk and having a place where I can just play and have fun and just experiment and stuff. So if it didn't turn out, it didn't turn out. But I am really super pleased with just adding a little bit of white paint over top of some really bright colors, just how it muted it and it became something completely different. So I started off as a fall spread and now it's a winter spread and I love all the metallics. It makes me want to like, you know, decorate my house in all red and metallic and black and white. And, and, um, so now as stuff has dried, I'm adding some of these twine uh, pieces, these loop pieces. And I'm also going to go and look real quick as I went off on the side. And I'm going to find some silver type um, bows that I had in my stash from a few Christmases ago. And I also thought about adding those tags um, from crepe paper, but I end up deciding not to use it because it just, I don't know, it just felt like too much to me to add it. And I really didn't want to cover up any of the media that I did because I really absolutely loved it. So yeah, so I'm going to end up mixing it, but I kind of wanted you to see just how sometimes you got to try something. You got to, you got to make a hole in it and you got to put a bow on it and you got to try it and see how it works. Because you never know until you try it out, right? So one thing I want to say is, is if you head over to the Shimmer store, you can mention my name while you're checking out and you will get a free gift from them. That's one of their fun little incentives that they have for us. So don't forget that if you head over there and do that, to just mention me and you will get a free nice little prize. I also seen these little clips, those tree clips, and I thought that they were perfect for putting to the edges. Now, I seen the Chamel um, present, and I kind of moved it around because I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it where I didn't have a present already. I really wanted it down at the bottom, but I felt like covering up another present was kind of not cool, but in the end, I decided to go with it because that was the best place that I thought. And so now I'm also using my fine line bottle to add like some bows and type stuff, and I'm going to add some dots and some other kinds of stuff to these presents just to make them each unique a little bit and fun. And I really absolutely love the way that this turned out. It's just, it really pops out and it's super, like it's bold, but it's just shiny and it just makes you want to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> or at least it does me. So definitely, definitely look in the info box below. You can see all the things that I've used from the Shimmer store and you can also find out where you can find me in other places on social media. I definitely share stuff on Instagram and um, 
on here on my YouTube channel, but I also have a blog as well. So I will see you guys later. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas if this is the last time I see you or talk to you before then and um, have a happy holidays as well. Bye. Thank you.